Astro Amigos, welcome back to Astrology with Ninad. The year 2025 is fast approaching and in this video, I am going to discuss the yearly annual horoscope prediction for the first sign in the zodiac, which is Aries, known as Mesh Rasi. 2025, which adds up to the number 9, is ruled by none other than the Lord of your Lagna, the ruler of your Ascendant, Mars itself which makes it a very important year for you indeed. In this video, I am going to cover several major areas of life such as career, business, health, finance, marriage, love life, education, travel and much more. But before I jump into the prediction part, I want to take some time to analyze and look at the transit and placement of the four major planets in particular such as Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu and Ketu because they tend to transit in houses for long periods of time as compared to the other planets such as Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Venus. So starting with Saturn, Shani Maharaj, it will be transiting in its own Mool Trikon sign Aquarius which is Kumbharashi in your 11th house till March 28. But on March 29, it will transit to your 12th house in the sign of Pisces, which is Mean Rashi. And it will keep transiting there for the rest of the year. Looking at Rahu, the north node of the moon, will transit in your 12th house in the sign of Pisces till May 17. But on May 18, it will transit to your 11th house in the sign of Aquarius. Similarly, its counterpart Ketu, the south node of the moon, will transit in your 6th house in the sign of Virgo till May 17. But on May 18, it will transit to your 5th house in the sign of Leo and will keep transiting there for the remainder of the year. Finally, Jupiter, Dev Guru Brahaspati. It is going to transit multiple times in 2025, starting with its initial transit in Taurus from the start of the year. It will stay in Taurus till about May 13. On May 14, it will enter the sign of Gemini in your third house. But again on October 18, it will transit to your fourth house in the sign of Cancer where it will become exalted. But on December 5, once again, it will move back to your third house in the sign of Gemini. So these are the key placements of the four major planets in 2025. Now, without any further ado, let's dive into the prediction part. Starting with your career area. Well, your career area is looking to be good for the most part. Although your career Lord Saturn is going to transit to your 12th house, basically from you can say April onwards, it will be in your 12th bhava. But it is not a bad placement, especially if you are residing in a foreign land or if you have long desired to work in a foreign country, then it can be the perfect time to maybe look for that kind of new job opportunity. Because the dispositor of Saturn will be Jupiter, which will be very well placed for you in 2025. Especially from Jan to May and then from October 18 to December 4, it will be very powerfully aspecting your career house itself. So naturally, you can make excellent and very good progress as the year keeps moving forward, especially even after Rahu moves to your 11th house, that is going to be a big boost to your professional life because 11th house is the gains and benefits from the career area. And 11th house is going to be the sign of Aquarius, which is known to be co-ruled by Rahu itself. So, Rahu can give you tremendous gains and benefits in your professional life at your workplace 
you can rise to some really big position acquire you know what you're dreaming of what you're desiring at your workplace whether it is a job transfer whether it is gaining a promotion whether it is landing a big project whether it is you know getting a new team better colleagues better manager whatever your desire might be it can certainly manifest especially the second half of 2025 is looking to be very good for your career and if you have the slightest desire of working in a foreign land of you know residing away from your native place or birthplace then 2025 can be the year which can make your dreams finally come true if we talk about business overall the business area is looking to be good especially from may to october those months are looking quite strong for your business activities because jupiter will transit in your third house and aspect your seventh house of business so naturally its full blessings will be on your business house you will have also rahu transiting in your 11th house from may onwards so naturally rise in profits increase in revenues can certainly be seen in your business area chances of business expansion growth in business deals you know thinking of doing some business partnerships if you are already in a business partnership then your business partner will start to provide you with much more support from the month of may onwards so things are looking to be quite good again in the second half of 2025 for your business area if we talk about finance well the same trend is following here from may onwards the financial area is looking to be very solid right because rahu one of the most malefic planets will be transiting in your 11th house in its most comfortable sign rahu is of air element and it will transit in the sign of aquarius which is also of air element so naturally it is a good mix it is a good combination which can help you to gain income from different sources of you know wealth from different sources of investments that you never thought were possible so strong inflow of money is seen good wealth accumulation as long as you play your cards right as long as you invest your money wisely you can certainly reap the rewards you know throughout the year even saturn being in your 11th is going to be good so as the year keeps moving forward the financial area is only going to keep getting better and better and better and just uh, you know think wisely invest wisely and you will do great if we talk about health area then overall i am seeing no major health concerns as such when rahu is transiting for the first 4 4 and a half months in your 12th house do take care and do not neglect any type of acute health issues and you know make sure to get that checked up if something was to bother you but as long as you do some you know exercise yoga meditation pranayama relaxing breathing exercises mindfulness spending time in nature uh, anything that is you know relaxing calming soothing will be very good for your mental as well as physical health if we talk about love life then the good news is that from april onwards the pressure on your fifth house of relationships will not be there because saturn will change houses so that is a big boost but ketu's transit from may onwards can bring feelings of detachment so if you are already in a relationship you could possibly feel some sort of detachment from your partner right from your girlfriend from your boyfriend so it might be uh, you know a good time to reflect reanalyze things in your relationship 
if anything needs to be sorted, if anything you know is troubling and that needs to be worked out, it can be a good time for that. For single people wanting to you know get into a new relationship, the time is looking good after April, May onwards. But internally, you might not be that proactive because Ketu's transit in the fifth might give again some sort of feelings of isolation, detachment, um, you know, not wanting to pursue something uh, that proactively. But uh, again, you know, if your Mahadasha, Antardasha are very favorable, then chances of getting into a relationship is also seen. If we talk about marriage, of actual marriage taking place, then May 14 to basically October 17 is a very good time period that I'm seeing here for single people wanting to get married, wanting to, you know, uh, lock things down with their current girlfriend or boyfriend, um, you know, or those single people who are not having luck finding the right companion, not finding the right compatible match. Finally, things can start to change in your favor. Uh, luck might start to support you more and some good things can fructify here. And if not, then even the time after December 5 till the end of the year is also looking good and supportive for marriage related activities. And those couples already married, the timeline is looking better and better as the year keeps moving forward, especially when Jupiter transits to your third and aspects your marriage house from May onwards. The time is looking very harmonious, peaceful, and your married life will once again be reignited with a lot of love, care, harmony, and the balance can certainly be re-established. If we talk about education, in terms of primary education for those students pursuing bachelor's high school, the time is looking good. As long as you put in the hard work and effort, you will do just fine. In terms of higher education, for those students pursuing master's PhD program, the time is looking exceptional between the month of May to October and then the month of December. You will make very good academic progress as long as you put in the work and effort and for those students seeking admission to their desired college, whether in your homeland, whether in a foreign country, the chance of admission, you know, getting that admission is looking stronger after the month of May onwards. If we talk about children, so if you know, you are a parent, you have children, then your relationship with them throughout this year might be a bit troublesome because in the first three months, you know, Saturn's impacting your fifth house, not in a positive way. And then from May onwards, you have Ketu, you know, in your fifth house, which can again kind of create feelings of detachment from your children, some sort of misconception, misunderstandings. But the month of April is a key month. April 2025 is a key month for you, a key opportunity or window to resolve any differences with your children and try to get on the same page. Because in that time period, in, in the month of April, no major malefic influence will be on your fifth house. So it can be a great time to spend, you know, some quality time with your children to, uh, you know, go on some fun outings and to, you know, be on the same page with them to reestablish the harmony and peace in your relationship. Finally, if we talk about travel in terms of short distance travel journeys, you will do a lot of short distance travel, especially from the month of May onwards, when Jupiter will transit to your third bhava. So naturally, it being a planet of expansion, opportunities, uh, you know, you can travel quite a lot for your job, for, um, you know, taking a new class like a dance class or any hobby or passion that you want to pursue. Um, or it can be for, you know, joining a new fitness program or playing sports, joining a sports team. So travel is going to be 
a lot uh, after the month of May. And if we talk about long distance travel journey vacation, that area is also looking quite good. Um, you can say throughout the year, but especially May 14 to October 17 and after December 5 onwards, the time is looking very powerful for you to embark on any long distance travel journey, vacation, voyages that you had put aside for a while. It can be a good time to take that up and, you know, go on that long distance travel that you had long desired to. But overall, looking at the big picture here, 2025 for my Aries friends can be an excellent year because looking at the positioning of the four major planets, it is looking superb. Even Saturn going in your 12th house, it is not a bad thing. Because the dispositor will be strong. The sign of Pisces is not an enemy sign. It is a good sign for Saturn. It is the sign of the most auspicious planet, Jupiter indeed. And 12th house is also a natural house for Saturn. It is, you know, Shani is the natural Karaka of the 12th Bhava. So do not fear Saturn's placement in the 12th is mainly indicating more connection with foreign lands. It could be foreign travel to visit your family, to um, you know go on some nice vacation, go on some pilgrimage, visiting some ancient temples or uh, churches or you know whatever uh, religious institution you follow. Um, it can be a great time to work on enhancing your spiritual or religious uh, inclination. It can be a great time to relocate for um, your career area. You know, getting a new job opportunity in a foreign land can be a game changer for many people, um, especially if you're running the Saturn Mahadasha or Antardasha. Um, you know, it can be a great time for you to start living in a foreign land because for the moon sign people, you will start the Sari Sati as well. Um, but overall, uh, you know, Jupiter's transit are looking very good. Rao's transit, especially from May onwards, uh, is also looking very dynamic and quite a key transit for you, which has the ability to fulfill a lot of your dreams, desires and wishes. Because Rahu in the 11th house, I mean, who doesn't want that, right? And that too, in the air sign of Aquarius. And especially if you are, again, you know, connected with foreign land, foreign cultures, you know, uh, people from different background, ethnicity, religion, race, um, you know, your destiny, your destiny can change for the better because the dispositor of Rahu will be in the 12th house from the month of April onwards. So again, it is going to be a fantastic year for you. You just need to put in the hard work and effort and you will do great. I wish you a very happy new year and all the best.